Hello and welcome to another episode. On the show today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a new product that is really exciting. Now I've actually talked about this uh, on some of the shows in the past and I did a little Cup of Joe video on this earlier this year. This is the Decafino decaf pouch. Uh, now a couple things to say at first. So uh, yes, they sent me these for review. Um, I am doing a video on these because I think this product is awesome. This is really fascinating and intriguing process. In short, it's a pouch that's kind of like a tea bag as you put in your coffee and it absorbs all the caffeine and nothing else, thus giving you a decaffeinated version of whatever coffee that you want. And you can actually use this in more than just coffee. Anything that has caffeine in it, you can decaf with this. Uh, so that's really cool. So I'm doing this video because they have a Kickstarter going on right now and it's a really, really great opportunity to check it out. If you have any need for decaffeinated coffee at any point, sometimes for myself, I'm working in the evening and I like to write and drink coffee at the same time, but past a certain point in the day, I don't wanna drink any more caffeine. I usually don't have decaf coffee around because uh, even though some of the process is particularly Swiss water and mountain water process uh, for creating decaf actually makes a really good cup of coffee, uh, there's a very limited selection. You, like that process is done before roasting. So roasters have to buy batches of green coffee that have already been decaffeinated and then they have a very, very limited selection of what can be decaffeinated. But what happens if, for instance, for example, on the show today, I have this lovely Peru, uh, Ellie Cruz Lopez from Conduit Coffee, and I enjoyed this coffee this morning. I want some more this afternoon, but oh no, I really shouldn't be drinking more caffeine. Boom, problem solved. So what I'm gonna do today on the show is show you how it works. It's really straightforward. Uh, you can actually, there are a couple ways you can brew a cup of coffee and then just stick this in there for a couple minutes. Um, you can also put this and what I'm going to do is take the pouch and put it in the Kalito wave and brew directly on top of that. So you're going to be able to see how that works. And then we're going to have a taste afterwards. Uh, I've been following along the decaffeino for a couple of years now, and they've done a lot of work to, uh, create this product, gone through a lot of iterations, the, uh, science behind how that works. I don't know the science. Uh, I just know that it's really cool that they've made this thing that absorbs just caffeine, but it's been very challenging. I think a uh, tricky process for them to go to, and it sounds like uh, a go through, and it sounds like they've come to a great spot with it. So decaffeino, the link to the Kickstarter is below. If you just want to go and grab some right now, uh, honestly, again, I highly recommend you get it. If you don't drink uh, decaffeinated coffee ever, but you know someone who does, you know, grab some as a gift. This is really unique and really cool. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna cut the video to brewing and I'm gonna show you how this works and then I'll have a taste afterwards and talk about it. So here we go. So what you're gonna find here is that there is no difference really in how I make the coffee. So doing a Kalita wave here, I'm gonna do about 25 grams of the coffee to 400 grams of water. But we're gonna add this guy, decaf pouch. This is gonna work for up to 16 ounces. You can actually, so uh, another cute thing about this, which I can mention afterwards is you can use this in more coffee. This will absorb the caffeine for a brewed cup, like a balanced brewed cup for about 16 ounces. So you're doing about 15 to 17 to one ratio. You go up to 16 ounces of coffee. It's going to get out all the caffeine. You could do, put this in 32 ounces of coffee and end up with a half calf. So think about that. Okay, here we are. Kind of just like a tea bag. And there it is. So all these little things in here are going to absorb the caffeine. And what we're gonna do is 
just pluck it right in like that and then brew right on top just like normal. And it's as simple as this. So because you've seen a brewed coffee before, I'm going to just fast forward uh, through the brewing process until we're pretty much done. All right, there we go. That is about 400 grams brewed. There's probably about 370 in here, 380. So I could, I could probably have a little bit more coffee brewed uh, and effective with this pouch, but also uh, I wanna make sure that as much of the caffeine is gone from here as possible. Um, I'm not sure what the actual uh, complete percentages are, but um, my understanding is as long as you're 16 ounces or less, you're um, getting all of the caffeine out of here. So uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna let that sit for a moment and then I'm gonna come back and try it out. All right, so we've got our brew and the pouch in here has all the caffeine. Uh, the instructions advise just kind of stirring or swirling, you know, letting it sit for a few minutes. When you brew just a cup, like if I if I just had this cup full and I wanted to decaf it, I could just pop the pouch in there, wait four minutes, you know, give it a little stir, and then I'm good to go. So we should be we should be set on this. Let's uh, see what we got. Got enough for a whole mug. All right. So. Still smells like the coffee. That's a good sign. Huh. As I said, like I said, I had this coffee this morning. And if I hadn't made this with the pouch, or if you know someone hadn't told me this was decaf, I don't think I would peg this as decaf. I can tell some slight differences. It's a very interesting thing. Um, since we've had these pouches and we've had the opportunity to try coffee side by side, uh, like the regular and the decaf version, you can tell, like deca uh, caffeine has uh, a, an effect on taste. Uh, on the way you taste the coffee because caffeine, uh, its taste itself is largely bitterness. So when you take caffeine out of a coffee, there's less bitterness in there, but it also kind of changes the dynamic a little bit. But in this case, this coffee is, is very remarkably like the caffeine version of this, um, but it doesn't have caffeine in it. So I'm quite pleased. This is, uh, this is really good. Mm. So that is that is decafino that's the decaf pouch uh really cool really cool product the the thing to me that's really fascinating awesome about it is uh as i pointed out at the beginning i can make a decaf version of any coffee that i want um, i could take i've got this lovely uh port of mocha uh that i could have some nice yemen and decaf it and it's going to taste pretty much the same. Uh, like I said, caffeine has bitterness to it. Uh, and when you remove the caffeine, you get less bitterness and that alters some of the dynamics. But by and large, it tastes the same just without caffeine. And all you got to do is throw the pouch in it. So uh, highly recommend you go check it out. Uh, they have their Kickstarter going on and I'll link to all that below. Uh, it's a really good deal. Get yourself a bunch of pouches, give them as gifts or you know use them yourself enjoy a nice cup of coffee in the evening uh, any coffee that you like and uh, not have to worry about that caffeine 
Mm. Here's to all you decaf haters out there. Coffee is still delicious and deeply satisfying to enjoy without caffeine in it. I don't care what you say. Mm.